Let's balance this equation. We have KOH plus H2SO4, and that yields K2SO4 plus H2O. My strategy is to treat SO4 as one thing, because I have an SO4 here, and I have an SO4 on the product side. That makes it easier for me to add things up. Let's see how that looks. So I have potassium, one of those, oxygens, I have one oxygen here, and I'm ignoring these for right now, hydrogens, I have one hydrogen plus the two in the H2, so I have three hydrogens, and then I'm just gonna call that SO4 its own thing, and I have one of those. Over here on the product side, potassium, I have two, oxygen, I'm gonna ignore this, and I only have one here. Hydrogens, I have two of those, and then SO4, that's the sulfate there, I have one of those. Let's fix our potassiums first. Here I could just put a two in front of the KOH, so one times two, that gives me two of those. Then I need to update my oxygen and hydrogen atoms. So I have one times two for the oxygen, that gives me two oxygen atoms. And then hydrogen, I have the one times the two, so I have two hydrogens, plus these two hydrogens here, I have four hydrogens. Okay, things are looking better. Let's fix the hydrogens. We'll leave these oxygens until last. So I have two hydrogens here and four here. If I put a two, a coefficient of two right here, two times two, that equals four. And now the hydrogens are okay. And then let's update the oxygens. I have one times two. So that means that I have two oxygens. So the oxygens are balanced. And actually everything's balanced, two potassiums, two oxygens, four hydrogens, and that sulfate, I have one sulfate here and one sulfate here, I'm done. This equation's balanced. So you can think about these polyatomic ions here, this SO4, as one thing if you have them on both sides of the equations. In that case, it makes the balancing a lot easier. So that's the balanced equation for potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid yields potassium sulfate and water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.